Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, a very active founding father of the Alliance was also the United States. They were there from the beginning and were very active. And I would like to thank Tom Vilsack and his excellent team for the leadership they have shown in this endeavor. May I give you, Minister, State Secretary of Agriculture, may I give you the floor. Uh, Your Excellencies and ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is uh, with a great deal of honor that I'm here today and I very much appreciate uh, the opportunity to join you today. I'm pleased to represent the United States as we join with you in the Global Alliance for Climate Smart Agriculture and recognizing it as one of its founding members. I'd like to thank uh, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, uh, David Navarro, uh, Secretary General Special Representative on Food Security and Nutrition, and the Netherlands in particular, as well as other founding members of the Global Alliance for Climate Smart Agriculture for making it possible to launch this alliance today. As the Secretary of the United States Department of Agriculture, I am tasked with ensuring the health and security of our farms and forests, our rural communities and food systems. I've had the opportunity and the privilege to travel across the United States and around the world. I've met farmers and ranchers as diverse as the countries represented here today. I can tell you that while things may look different on the surface, at the core, farmers worldwide all have the same goal, to produce in a sustainable way. Farmers and ranchers in the United States are proud of their roots, a sentiment I know they share with their counterparts around the world. Farmers must at all times be one part nurturer, one part trend forecaster, one part scientist, and one part business person. They have a great challenge. They're responsible for securing a food supply that can satisfy the changing demands of a globing, glowing, growing world population with increasingly sophisticated tastes. All of us have the responsibility to help. We must build strong operations that can withstand risk from all sides. We must innovate and develop new technologies and new ways to grow and market our products. And we have a role to play in ensuring that healthy food moves from the fields where it is grown to where it is needed most, so that no one around the world suffers from hunger or food insecurity. We must do all of that while our farmers have to become adapted in the face of record droughts, extreme temperature fluctuations, increases in pests and diseases, and other severe weather that puts their farms and our food supply at risk. Here too, farmers and producers, regardless of size, are more alike than different. Drought in the western United States and drought in Central America threaten farmers and livelihoods alike, disrupt communities and strain food systems. Increasing climate threats, whether it's drought or high temperatures, increases in pests or wildfire are separate symptoms of the same problem. Agriculture is too often thought of as a cause of climate change and its symptoms. We are here today to talk about agriculture's future and its role as a climate solution. I believe that we as agricultural leaders in our respective countries and as founding members of the Global Alliance for Climate Smart Agriculture have a lot to gain from sharing our experiences and collaborating on a globally focused set of strategies to respond to climate change. In doing so, we can respond to the unique set of challenges that smallholders may have in dealing and coping with climate change. As an example of how the U.S. might help, we've launched a soil health initiative. We're working hand in hand with farmers to improve the health and function of their soil a key goal is to increase soil organic matter, essentially soil carbon. Practices like conservation tillage, using cover crops, double cropping, and better nutrient management can build soil organic matter and create healthier soils. Healthier soils, in turn, are more productive and store more carbon. And it turns out that healthier soils also do a better job of storing scarce water. 
When drought strikes, farms with healthy soils fare better and are more resilient. This is a triple win for agriculture. Conservation practices that enhance production, store carbon, and reduce climate risk. That's not just smart, it's climate smart. And those successful strategies and lessons learned must be shared by all of us. We're promoting these practices through our extension and technical service providers. And to support our efforts, we've established a network here in the United States of regional climate hubs to analyze risk and develop localized information to help farmers adapt to climate change and to mitigate its consequences. We continue to support research into these technologies and practices that we believe will reduce climate risk. And we're moving rapidly to integrate climate change into our domestic conservation and renewable energy programs. That same information can, and I'm here to say, should be shared locally. And we in the U.S. are committed to that effort. One of the ways that we can do this is through our Global Open Data for Agriculture and Nutrition Initiative, which supports efforts to make data available worldwide, accessible and usable for unrestricted use worldwide. The Alliance takes that concept of cross-cutting, cross-nation information sharing and takes it to a new level. Our Alliance will help us to develop and disseminate climate smart policies and practices that set us up for global success in the fight to increase productivity, to improve resilience, and to reduce emissions in the face of climate change. It is that triple win that puts a needed focus on scaling up action for adaptation and mitigation. The Alliance will create a knowledge platform for taking stock of ongoing practices and adaptation techniques and for sharing information on the implementation of climate smart agriculture. It will provide a platform for supporting and expanding multi-stakeholder collaboration on climate smart agriculture. As a complement, US, the U.S. intends to integrate climate change into our agricultural development planning and strengthening programs on the international side and our international processes relating to agriculture, food security, nutrition, and climate change. With a particular emphasis, I might add, on women farmers, who, by the way, as we all know, make up 70 percent of the farming population globally. For these reasons, the United States, led by our State Department and the United States Department of Agriculture, is committed to making the Global Alliance for Climate Smart Agriculture a true success. We are proud to bring our existing food security and climate programs to this multi-stakeholder effort. And while we bring a lot to the table in terms of resources and experience, we know full well that we also have a lot to learn from our Alliance colleagues. Achieving food security in the face of climate change will not be a short-term task, nor will it be simple. That's why it's so critical that through this alliance, we bring together entities from across the world, governments, businesses, farm organizations, civil society groups, research bodies, and intergovernmental entities to begin asking how we can work together to prepare agriculture for new challenges and thereby put our food supply on a strong footing in years to come. Future generations will know whether we succeeded or not. One of our great presidents, President Lincoln, once said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Today, we begin to create that future. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much, Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack. And I do hope that we can count on your continued leadership in this alliance. Thank you so much.